Being the son of a provider, I got to watch what it was like to be a doctor firsthand. And to a kid, it was glamorous because anywhere we went in the community, I would see patients come running up to my dad and adore him. And I totally got it because once I went and started watching him in practice, he was amazing with patients. And I could see why he built such a big following. And my dad's practice was just down the street. And so as I grew up, my dad started coming home every day and taking a nap. And I thought it was just because my dad was getting old until I became a doctor and realized the amazing amount of energy it takes to take care of patients, let alone running the business side of a practice. And now being in the industry, there is such a difference between the way doctors operated years and decades ago compared to today. With changes in the insurance, changes in consolidation in the market, you have to have that competitive edge. Some of you love the patient care, while others are very attracted to the business side. And there's room for everybody in this market. And so when we did the analysis on a provider life cycle, we identified seven phases. And in these seven phases, we want to give you the secrets to what you should be focused on in that phase. And if you want to move to the next level, exactly the action steps that you should be taking. Before we dive into each level, let me give you an overview of what these seven levels look like. We start with what's called the associate. This is coming out of school or working for another doctor. Then we go into a promoter, which then moves up to an operator, eventually goes to a leader, and with some work and effort can become a high performer, which then leads to an expander and the creme de la creme, the evolution boss.